Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we saw pre-order traversal of a binary tree. In this video, we'll see in-order traversal using a stack. In in-order traversal, as you know, we traverse the left subtree first, then process the root node, and finally traverse the right subtree. So the idea here is, whenever we visit a node, we'll add the node to the stack, if it is not null, and then move to the left child of the visited node. If the node is null, then we pop a node from the stack, process the node, and then move to the right child. So we continue this until the stack is not empty or the node we visit is not equal to null. So let's see the visualization. Here node current is pointing to five, so that is not null, so we'll add five to the stack, move to the left child of five. Node nine is not null, so we'll add 9 to the stack and move to the left child of 9. Now, left child of 9 is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack, process this node, so we are adding 9 to the output, and move to the right child of 9. Again, current is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack, process this node, and move to the right child. Again, the same thing. So 8 is not null, so we'll add 8 to the stack, move to the left child of 8. Now current is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack, process 8, and move to the right child. Node 4 is not null, we add it to the stack, node, again move to the left child. Node 3 is not null, so we'll add it to the stack, move to the left child. Left child of 3 is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack, and then process this node, and move to the right child. Node current is null, so we pop the node from the stack and then move to the right child of 4. Um, sorry, we process the node and then we move to the right child of 4. So again, current is pointing to 10, which is not null, so we'll add it to the stack, move to the left child. Left child is null, so we'll pop the node from the stack, process this node, so we add it to the output, and then move to the right child. Now, current is null and we don't have any nodes in the stack, so this is the end of in-order traversal. Now let's try to code this. So here the output is a list of integers. So I'll cre create a list of integer output as new array list. Um, we'll create a stack of three nodes. Let's have a node called current. That points to root. We could do one check here. If root is null, we could return the empty list. Um, now, while stack is not empty, or current node is not null, we have nodes to process. If current is not equal to null, like I said, so we'll add this node to the stack. So we are pushing to the stack and then move to the left child of current. Else, we'll pop the node from the stack. So current is assigned the reference to the node that is popped. Now we process this node, so we are adding it to the output. We'll add the value of current and then move to the right child. So at the end of it, output will have all the nodes in an order. We'll return this. I'll try to run the code. Um, okay, this is current dot right. Now let's look at one more case, this case. Um, so this tree here, nine, five, eight, nine, okay, five, nine, eight, five, nine, eight. Nine doesn't have any children. So we'll then eight, eight's left child is null, 
and 4 and then we have 3 and 10. Let's try to run this. So the output is 9583410. The expected is 9583410 and that is what we get here. So I'll submit the solution. So this is working fine. Um, thank you again uh, for watching this video. If you liked it, please like the video and also do subscribe. In the next video, I'll be showing post-order traversal. Thank you very much. Bye.